Okay, so here's my little tower. Uh, it's very tiny. This is my first experimental one. You can see it in comparison to my fingers, so I'm not too sure how many wraps I got on it. Um, it's just one single stack of wraps around the around a pill bottle, basically. You can see here's a nickel in comparison to the size of it, so it's not too big. Uh -huh. I'd say maybe under three inches in height, probably. It has one 30 gauge lead wire right here. That's the bottom that starts to wrap. And then it comes out to a wire that just hangs out into space up on the top. And then they're just taped just to stop it from becoming unraveled. So that thin little wire, it comes over to here to this connection and soldered over to this connection. And it comes in at your 2N3904 transistor in the middle at the base. To the left of that, the left leg is the emitter. Now it, you can see in behind, that blue wire is on the same path and it goes up to the ground. Now if you follow along the ground you can see it comes over to here and then that ground wire of mine is simply running through this multimeter and it's showing right now 68 milliamps. Okay so then after it goes through the meter, it comes up to the ground. As far as the other connections on the transistor, it's pretty straightforward. The base, like I say, goes to the bottom wire of the coil. The emitter goes to ground. And then the last one, the collector, on the right-hand side, that collector goes all the way back around here to the other side of the pancake coil, which powers the tower. So... Your, that's that's where your low voltage goes in and your high voltage comes out of here and then their high voltage is transmitted out this wire wirelessly okay so what I've been powering with these guys are these little fluorescents and you can see that just see it's off right now and you get anywhere near it and she fires up now what I did before was a little bit tricky if I don't know if I'll be able to do this quite so easily with this camera I'll have to put this down for a second while I do it what I did before was I took two of them got them going Ouch, I just shocked myself on that wire. Doesn't really hurt though. See, it's tough to get both going at the same time, but once you do, they seem to grow the best right when they're in there. As far as the light level goes, I got them both going there now. As far as the light level goes, now that's not a fair adjustment because there is still one more lamp on in this room, otherwise it's pitch black in here, but it's like a night light. You could have this amount of light on a picnic table in a campground in the middle of the night when it's pitch dark to give you a little bit of light. So you know, it, 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 it needs a lot of work. It's still drawing more current than it ought to really, at about a half a watt I guess because you got 67 okay so yeah it runs at about 72 uh, it runs it draws about 68 when there's nothing on it and it draws 72 milliamps when I'm running two bulbs so that's about a half a watt with this little battery right here at a half a watt 
72 milliamps times 6 volts is going to give you about 0.42 watts. Probably run that little lamp for 18 hours on this on this 6 volt that came out of one of those. Actually, came out of one of those uh, 2 million candle uh, flashlights. Yeah, so that's that's the setup. It works pretty good, and uh, it's a very sensitive circuit, though. You can see I just turned that other one on by touching it. They get a little bit better when uh, you supply. They get brighter when you touch them, and you can see your draw goes up too. I just let go. So if they had a, I suppose if they had a ground, like a real ground, a ground to ground, they would probably be a bit brighter. So that's it. That's your mini Slayer Exciter. Very neat. It's a start, and now I can now I can start playing with it. I actually have 28 of these little bulbs. Um, I got them for 10 cents a piece. They're from Solar, a Solar setup, but I guess it didn't go over real well because it was really expensive. Apparently, the lamps were like 50 bucks each, and the replacement bulbs are normally five, six bucks. But I got them for 10 cents. So I've been playing around with trying to get them going on this wireless sort of stuff. So there it is. Next one will be a bigger one. Thanks very much to Ryan, G. Bluer, Lid Motor, all those guys, Johnny Davro. Thanks for inspiring me to, to play around with this stuff. It's, it's really pretty fun. My uh, transistor's burning too hot. My tower is a little too small and my coil around the base could use some optimization, I think. Other than that, it runs, it works, you know, get me started. Thanks to all those that have helped me out and uh, if you got any uh, critiques, suggestions, comments, let me know. Thanks a lot.